taking this kind of like rough set it's it's like flawed it's got like bubbles and stuff in it but they're still pretty and like i'm gonna use them myself or like see if any of my friends like in real life want them uh i already did the the 19 on here which i think is really pretty i'm gonna do a blue in this like pearl medium that i got the the ratio mixing on this is is kind of silly um it makes sense like just because of how opaque it is but it's something like 10 parts color to one part pearl. The 20 is always my least favorite uh, because there's so many little things and the numbers are so shallow. But that's quite pretty, I think. Yeah, I like that color. I think I liked it a, with a bit more of the pearl medium in it though. But when I did it with like less amount, it, it didn't show up very well. I'm using the smallest end of this... Um, like sculpting tool. I, I saw someone else, I, I unfortunately I forget who, who did it so I can't credit them, but there was another dice maker that was using this tool and I just happened to have some for some other stuff and it's been by far my favorite tool. It kind of works the way like a, a nib in a like a dip pen works. It holds like a tiny bit of the, the paint or whatever that you're using, the medium, and it for the most part it's just on the tip but there is with with like runnier um applications it has a tendency to kind of wick down to the point which like works very very well and i like it far more than some of the tiny little brushes that i've tried the uh the tiny brushes that that i've used i mean they, they obviously work but they take a tremendous amount of precision um whereas this for the most part like gets it where it needs to go but I've, I've tried a bunch of different things and every once in a while I'll just like get tired of one thing and switch to the other but this has been consistent so my next least favorite is the d4 there's just something irritating about finishing up with a number and then not being done with that side <laughs> sometimes if I have like a, a super thick paint I'll uh, I'll have like a little dish of water just to dip my like tool into because I don't like actually adding the water to the to the acrylic because acrylic it, it probably doesn't matter that much on on this kind of thing but acrylic doesn't it's like adhering power is lessened when you add water to it and so I try not to but having a little bit of water on the actual tool puts a tiny little barrier between the paint that I just brought onto the tool and the tool itself so it kind of slides off of it a little bit easier but usually because I'm inking um, a bunch of uh, dice at the same time, like a bunch of different sets, I, I always go from my least favorite, the 20, like all the way to my favorite because then um, I'm not like back to back having like a 20 and then another 20. So I always do it in a specific order um, according to my, to my least favorite things. <laughs>